everybody, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. And if you are a returning subscriber, I hope you enjoyed today's video. So I have a Dollarama haul. It's not huge. It's, I mean, it's not a massive haul. I got, um, I had a list and I found some of the things on my list, of course, but I also found some new finds and some things that they carry on and off. And I always buy when I find them. So with that being said, let's jump in. So I grabbed my old standby and that is these sponges. I, I'm down to like two left in my package and I love these sponges for cleaning and in my kitchen and you get 10 of them for a dollar 25. So it's a good buy. So I got those. And I do love those sponges and I grabbed uh, some paper towels. So this is the Enviro Strong Cascades. It was three fifty. Massive sized rolls. These are jumbo rolls, and the Cascades are supposed to be a really good. This is a name brand, I believe. I've never um, bought these before, but I thought I'd try them out, so I got these, and I picked up in the kitchen section. I picked up some cookie cutters. So these were $2 and there's only three cookie cutters and this is what there is, but there's a star and a, a teeny tiny little angel and a gingerbread man. And these have the little cutouts here so that they will sit on the side of your cup. So there's the bigger picture on the back. Do I have it in focus? It shows how it sits on your cup. And I thought that these would be really, I want to try these for, anyway, I have a, a, an idea that I want to try these out for. So without getting into too much, yeah, I, I got those. I picked up this hat and it's a hairband hat and it's for St. Patrick's Day. And of course I'm not going to, it's cute though, isn't it? I'm not going to wear it as a hat. These make, I bought one of these at Halloween and these make the most amazing mug toppers. So if you've got Ray Dunn mugs or you've got other nice mugs that you want to put on your display or on a tiered tray and you want to put a topper on, this is a good alternative to the expensive toppers. So very, very cute. And because it has the, the hairband part, you can actually just squeegee this up and put it inside the mug and it'll hold it on there. So yeah, um, these are really cute. So I got that one. I picked up this garland and it's for tiered tray and you know kitchen decor it has this it just has this really pretty delicate little almost a fern like leaf and it's just called what is it called i think it's just it doesn't even have a name it just says bouquet decorative garland 60 inches long so five feet and for 250 so lots of garland there for 250. So you can you can use this the way it is as a garland. You can use it for filler, like it would be a great filler. Uh, you can cut this up and use it. Lots of different options there. And then I have lots of spring flowers to use. These got bent up really bad in the bed. So I have lots of spring flowers to use in my spring decor, but let's see if I can get these apart. There, I got two of these, two of these nice big Easter egg spikes with the yellow eggs. I believe they had purple and they had a pale blue as well. These did get, they, she put these in the bag first. I cringe when the girls at the checkout do things like that. So I have a lot of things. I've got heavy things 
and they put something like this in the bag first and then I start cramming stuff in on top of it and I'm just cringing. I actually had to reach in and take them back out before she put too much stuff in on top and it doesn't look like I saved them quite in time. So I'm going to have to straighten some of these pieces out, maybe clip a couple of these little bent and broken pieces off but I thought these would look really really cute in a spring um, floral arrangement just to make it a little more eastery so I mean spring is easter anyway but this will even top it off a little bit better so I got that I got one more um item and stickers so stickers guys of course I did these are the nice great big foam stickers there are the dark green ones the light green ones and then some of them actually have glitter so for St. Patrick's Day they don't have to be used as stickers they can be used as table scatter they can be used just as a filler in a tray they can just be tucked here and there throughout your decor and I like the foam stickers for that because they're a little bit more substantial so I got that and then I'm going to call this Easter decor but um <laughs> you know it says it's Easter decor this was four dollars guys but this is the cutest thing this is absolutely the cutest thing uh, it reminds me of Lamb Chop, you know, the little um, puppet character. And yes, this is, so this is a really fuzzy, soft little lamb. And it's got these great farmhouse colors. But I'm thinking this doesn't have to be Easter. This just can just go on a farmhouse display. Like it's, yeah, guys. So... I couldn't leave it there. It had to come home with me. And look at it. It's got the cutest little face. It's just, I love it. And the little bell with the jute hanging around the neck. It's just, yeah, the rope arms. Yeah, had to have it. So, Dollarama, as I mentioned in my last half a dozen hauls, is stepping up their game as far as wood pieces for crafting. And these were $2 and they are square dowels, guys. So there's uh, one, two, three, there's five, five, and five. So there's 15 pieces, but they're three different sizes. These ones are fairly small, maybe a quarter of an inch, a half inch, and three quarters of an inch, maybe. Um, I haven't measured them, but, you know, they're looking thereabouts. And, uh, yeah, so I got two packages of these, and I may need more, but I have a definite idea for using these right off the, the hop. So I have a project that I want to do. And I found some trays. I've never, this, this is a new find for me. I don't think I've seen these at Dollarama before, so I think they're new, but I bought two of them and they are three bucks a piece. These are these trays. Like, like look at, these are a good size, guys. Um, and they're called Mel Aware. So they're almost like a melamine. Um, probably a knockoff of, or a cheaper version of a real melamine, but they're heavy. They're substantial. And yeah, look how gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous these are. So, so pretty. So I have a project in mind that I want to use these for. I almost don't want to use them for a project because they're so gorgeous by themselves. Now these would make awesome charcuterie boards. These would be great for a little, um, like a tea tray for your evening snack, your cup of tea and your evening snack, just to carry in front of the TV. These would be great to just put down on your coffee table and decorate. They are pretty, really pretty with that really light gray marble and then this wood grain. I, I absolutely love them. So two of those I got and they were three bucks. 
And then this is the item that I was most excited to find. So you go in to buy scrapbooking paper and it's pricey guys. It's really, really pricey. So you can go in to Michael's and their best buy papers are $12 for 48 sheets, I believe. Um, and this craft, this craft right here is not as good a paper. It's not like a heavy, it's a thinner paper, but it's not a heavy paper, but there are 50 sheets and I've gotten, this is my second purchase of this one. I just absolutely love the colors in this paper pad. I'm not going to do a flip through. I will just do a, you know, this is, this is this, yeah. But how pretty are these colors? So this is my second one that I've purchased of this particular pattern and it's called Delilah. And I found some new ones this time. So I've seen other people haul, sorry, I've seen other people haul this one and it's called daisy so i've seen them call and there are the colors right there and i'll just do the little such pretty pretty papers vintagey and bold and the colors are vivid so, so, so pretty. I love this paper pad. Now, I haven't gotten my hands on this one before. So, it's called Daisy. Now, this is the most exciting part about this, guys. These are $4. $4. So, I can get 150 sheets of scrapbooking paper or crafting paper for the same price as one value pack of paper at Michael's and that's their everyday value. You can't get them on sale. So then I found, yeah, two more, two more. Um, this one is called Flora. I haven't got this one before. Very, very pretty. So I'm just making sure you're in the camera. These colors here, I'll do a quick little that's almost like, um, I love the arrows. I just love arrows on anything and these geometric patterns and, but just very pretty. Again, all oh, those feathers, oh my goodness, it's more feathers, florals. Very, very pretty. I'm just looking in the camera, just like you guys. I haven't looked, oh. I have to go back. <laughs> that is white on black feathers. Look at that, guys. That is gorgeous. So, yeah, just a few more. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then I've kept my favorite for the last. So, the next one is called Elizabeth. Yeah. And it is these. These papers here. Gorgeous. Look at the old fashioned telephone dial. This is hard to show you when, when it's like this. Oh, so gorgeous. Just gorgeous, these prints. Suitcases. Nice, nice, these old locks. This is so vintagey, but this is so, to me, this is so Tim Holtz. Um, yeah, like look at this. And these would make amazing planner covers. And um, this is just a leather look. books. I'd make a neat planner cover. Ooh. 
Ooh, that, uh, that map paper. Nice. Any of these pages would make the most amazing planner covers. This paper is phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I'm looking in the... I haven't seen it yet either. Nice. I haven't seen it yet either. This is my first flip through. Oh, I love the cameras. So nice. Very, yeah, to me, it's a very vintage Tim Holtz. Just amazing. So that's that one, and it's called Elizabeth. So I found all four of these at one Dollarama. And they had a, quite a stack of them. So if you're looking for scrapbooking paper and you haven't checked your Dollaramas out, always check. And they, you usually find them on the lower shelves where you find the notebooks and, um, you know, planners and things like that, like the little agenda books and things. So that's it. That's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're as excited about that scrapbooking paper as I am. That's an amazing buy. $16 for 200 sheets of scrapbooking paper. <laughs> yeah, that made my whole day when I was shopping. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and subscribe now if you haven't done that already. And I will see you all in the next one. So until then, stay safe, everybody, and stay healthy. Bye-bye.